and was so heavy he could only be moved in a removal truck. But through sheer persistence and willpower, Scott is now much closer to his ideal weight and, as Liz Kefford reports, having come this far, Scott's not going to give up now. A lot of places. A lot of places. It just takes time. I think Scott should be an inst inspiration to anyone wanting to lose weight. Uh, he had a lot of weight to start with, uh, to look at losing, and that in itself sometimes puts many people off. Nine months ago, we first introduced you to Big Scott from Broken Hill. Weighing more than 40 stone or 270 kilograms, the 32-year-old was literally a prisoner in his own home. In my 15 years as a dietitian, I haven't actually seen anyone at the weight Scott is. Adelaide dietitian Karon Milham runs a Choose to Lose weight loss program and volunteered her services to help Scott fight his massive battle of the bulge. It's proved to be the biggest challenge of her career. I like a challenge and being in the health profession, another important thing is that I can't help but not want to help people that are in need. Well, I couldn't leave the house in one way. I was such... I couldn't walk that far. Now I can start to walk. Too heavy for conventional or even industrial scales, Scott had to travel to the local Weybridge to be weighed. Caron set about refining his eating habits and counselling him, and it seems her dedication has paid off. My old tracksuit. That's your old tracky. I saw you in that months ago. Yeah. So it doesn't fit anymore? No, no. What happens when you put it on? Just too, just too, just too big. Too big? I knew we had a big job ahead of us and figured, well, OK, if we lose, look at one to two kilograms a week. So he was very motivated and he was really discontent with his situation. Caron helped Scott devise an eating plan, replacing high sugar soft drinks with diet versions and generally reducing the amount of fat in his diet. But she was careful not to deprive him of his regular treats. Scott's having marvellous muffins every day and uh, he was allowed to have little lollies every week, which isn't traditionally a, a, a diet food, but he doesn't want them. Um, he's not eating anything he doesn't like and he's eating everything he does. And he's not missing out on his little treats now and then. At first, Caron didn't know if Scott would be able to cope with his new eating plan and the enormous challenge of trying to lose 150 kilograms. When was the last time you had KFC? Since February. Really? Pizza? Since then. Yeah. Are you missing takeaways? No, not really. Not to just not. It's just, just don't worry me. Yeah. You were having, when I first saw you, six teaspoons of sugar in any, every cup of coffee. You swapped that to a sweetener. And now you're not needing any sweetener. Two months ago, Scott had an electronic body fat test. An average male has about 15% body fat, and Scott was more than triple that. Today's result shows that you're 50.4% body fat. You still need to get down with that body fat level. The weight you need to lose is between 87 to 92 kilos. Despite having lost 35 kilograms at the time the test was taken, Scott's debilitating condition became obvious. Unable to get up off the floor, Caron had to call the ambulance and fire brigade to help. Officers tried to lift him using reinforced straps without success. One, two, three. No, 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 no. Eventually, they had to use a bodyboard to make him upright. After that mishap, Scott returned to Broken Hill and continued to stick to his new eating plan. It doesn't happen overnight. There's no easy way. There's no magic wand or, or pill or cream that'll make it go away. Oh, I didn't know if I could or not. I'm not eating junk food one way. I reckon it's the hardest, hardest part, that's... Scott arrived in Adelaide four days ago for another consultation with Caron. She couldn't believe what she saw. I'll get you now to hop on and uh, we can see what's happened. 210. You've just lost 60 kilograms in the last nine months. You're really seeing on the scales now what we can see by looking at you and your clothes are falling off you. You're a new man. Halfway towards a new man. 
All up, Scott has lost 10 stone and is well on the way to reaching his goal weight within the next 12 months. But his spectacular weight loss has caused problems and now he urgently needs a tummy tuck. This is hanging and it's coming down mostly down the lower abdomen and you've lost a lot of fat from up here. But you need this done now. I mean, there's still, you'll need tum tummy tuck a lot of places, other places as well, but or, or you'll get need the, this is what we call an apronectomy. Caron believes Scott has the determination to succeed with his weight loss and says he should be an inspiration to others who only want to lose a small amount of weight. If Scott can, anyone can. What I want him to be is what he wants to be. And I think that's forming as it goes along and I think Scott's moulding his own destiny. It's hard, but just, I mean, just, I mean, do it. If I can, I'll... I'm sure he will be.